All right, I'm here at Heathrow and I'm gonna show you how to get from here into central London. This will be your view as you exit into the arrivals terminal and you'll wanna to veer to your right until you see this sign that's yellow and blue and underneath the sign there's a ramp. So you'll wanna follow that ramp and you can just double check that the sign says terminal two, underground and trains. Now at some point in this journey, the path will split and I'll walk you through both options, but if you are taking the Piccadilly line, follow the yellow signs. And if you're taking the Elizabeth line or Heathrow Express, follow the blue signs. And if you're not sure yet which line you need to take, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna talk through all the options you have. So continue following the signs to the underground and train. And then right here, the path is actually gonna split. Now, like I said, I'm gonna show both options, but first we're gonna do the Heathrow Express and the Elizabeth line. So if you're doing that, take a left here. Continue following the blue signs until you make it to this ticket hall area. You'll need to stop here and buy a ticket if you're taking the Heathrow Express, but if you're taking the Elizabeth line, you can just tap in with a contactless credit card. And then you'll hop into the lift, which takes you down to the platform. You'll want to take the eastbound train into central London, which is usually at platform two, but just double check these screens here to make sure that you know which platform you need. Okay, so now you'll want to start paying really close attention because the Heathrow Express and the Elizabeth line leave from the same platform. So just make sure that you know which one you're getting on. So in my case, the Heathrow Express came first and I could tell that based on the screens and then also on that train itself, it says Heathrow Express. Now I knew that I wanted to take the Elizabeth line because it's cheaper and we'll talk more about choosing your line later in the video, but basically I just needed to double check that that was the train that was arriving next. And you can also see all the stops that it's going to go to at the calling at. So when the Elizabeth line arrived, I could tell that it was much less crowded than the Heathrow Express. So that's another reason to choose this. So you just click this button to get on and then you choose your seat and then just pay attention to what stop you're at. And then once you get to the station, just tap out again using your contact list. All right, now going back to that fork in the road, this time we're gonna go to the right for the Piccadilly line. Just make sure that you're following the yellow signs that say underground until you reach this station right here. And then once again, you can just tap in using your contactless card and make sure that you're looking for the eastbound Piccadilly line. As promised, for those of you who aren't so sure which route you need to take, I'm here to help. So as a very general rule, if you're staying south of Hyde Park, you'll want to take the Piccadilly line. And if you're staying north of Hyde Park, you'll either take the Heathrow Express or the Elizabeth line. Now, how do you decide between the Elizabeth line and the Heathrow Express? It all comes down to how big of a rush you're in and how much you want to spend. So the Heathrow Express is faster, but it's also more expensive. So it only stops at Paddington, so there's no stops along the way which makes it faster, but it's about 25 pounds, whereas the Elizabeth line will cost you about 12.80 and it stops in more places. So it's actually potentially more convenient if you're not staying right near Paddington, but it does take a little bit longer because there are more stops along the way. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. As I said, this is part one of my London Guide series. I'm doing a four part series. This part is about how to get from the airport to central. The next is all about public transportation, how to navigate it, how to use it, everything you need to know. The third is an itinerary, and then the fourth is do's and don'ts of London. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those, and I'll see you next time. Bye!